Hi, and welcome to this video, how do I customize word layout in Microsoft NLE 2015 advanced formatting. My name is Klaus Hörström, MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NLE. This video was made in collaboration with Platan and Microsoft. At the end of this video, we will have seen how easy it is in Microsoft Dynamics NLE 2015 to add fields which already exist in a dataset to a custom word layout report. The objective of this video is to show you how to use the XML mapping pane to add an existing field from the dataset to the report in Word. Also, we will see how it is possible to export and import the Word layout. As Word layouts often use hidden table, stru table structures to align content controls, such as field mappings, enabling grid lines in Word is quite useful to understand the structure. We will see that all fields in the Sales Invoice Report 1306 Word layout are all arranged in tables for each alignment in Word. To insert uh, existing fields from the report dataset in Word layout, we need to take advantage of the custom XML mapping feature in Word. This feature is available in the Developer tab in Word, which is hidden by default, so we need to enable it. We will see how to add fields from the XML mapping pane. Step number one, export layout. First, we will use the import layout and export layout instead of the edit layout. You will do this when using the Microsoft Dynamics NLV web client where direct editing is not supported. We will open up the custom report layouts page. We will copy existing custom report layout based on the sales invoice report 1306. And then we will export the custom report layout. So we're now in NLV 2015 and we first need to go to the report layout selection page. So we search for this and it's here, report layout selection page. And we want to filter on the report 1306. The new sales invoice report, which contains both the Word and the uh, LAC layout. We want to go to the custom layouts. As we can see in a previous video, we did this layout here. So what I want to do now, I want to copy this. So we'll make a copy of this. And now uh, this is my uh, advanced layout. So I will remove the uh, copy and I'll say my layout. And then just in the bottom here, I'll say advanced. Now uh, I will go and export the layout. So I will export the layout here and I will say save. I'm going to save this to my desktop. So, yes. Step number two, enable grid lines in Word. So now we're going to enable the grid lines in Word. First, we're going to open up the custom Word layout. In Word, we're going to select the layout tab, and then we're going to select the view grid lines so it's easier for us to see and understand the structure of the report. So we'll now open up the, the file, the layout that we have exported here. I will open up this in Word. I can see my, my report, how it looks. And uh, what I want to do now is I want to enable the grid line so I have a better understanding of the structure of the report. So I need to click here, for example, and then I get the table tools uh, active. And uh, now in the layout of the table tools, I have the grid lines that I can uh, enable. And now I see the grid lines and I have a better understanding of the structure of my report. Step number three, enable the developer tab. To enable the developer tab, we need to right click the ribbon in the Word and then we need to select customize this ribbon. In the right pane, we will select the developer checkbox and then choose OK. The developer tab is now visible in Word and we can use this to get to the XML mapping pane. So back in Word, we now have to go and customize the ribbon. So I'm up here in the layout and I click uh, the, uh, the button here, right click and then I customize the ribbon. And when I get the customize uh, ribbon up here, I get the, there's a lot of Word options here and then in the right, Part of the, the screen here that have the developer tab, this is not something that is uh, a default um, uh, selected. So I will select it now so I can get to my XML mapping pane. So now the developer tab is active and I can see that it now comes up here. And now I can choose my XML mapping pane. And in here I then have the available to add the fields to my report. Step number four, adding new existing field from dataset. We will expand the XML mapping pane. We will right click on the field name, in this case we will use the shipment date caption. And to add the field, we will need to right click and select insert, content control and then choose plain text. We will repeat this for the shipment date value. So back in Word, we can now see the XML mapping pane to the right and we can see there is a custom XML part selected. This is not the XML part that we are going to be using. So notice that when I drop down here, there is a server that I can choose. The one I want to use here is a URN, Microsoft Dynamics NAV, Reports, Mini Sales Invoice 1306. So that's my report, that's where my data set is. So I will click here and I will open up the NAV Word XML, Report XML part and I open up the header and I can start seeing all my fields here. 
So let me say, let me find the uh, uh, the shipment date that I want to have add to my report. So I have my my shipment date here, and I have my shipment date label here. So I need to first decide where I want to have this uh, placed in my report, and I want to place it here in this uh, blank field here. So I have marked my cursor, and it's now active down here. And what I'll do is I will click the shipment date, right click it, and insert control in plain text. Now the shipment date has been added here and uh, the, the, the caption and now I want to have the value as well. So I will click in this text box here and I'll go to the shipment date and I'll insert control and I'll hit a, uh, or I will click the plain text and now that's in. And if we want to play a little bit, uh, we can also go and uh, look at the how the uh, background color is. So I'll go to the shading here and I will take the orange color here for example and say okay and now I'll make my changes. So we are now step number five, the import layout. So we have added a new existing field from the dataset in the Word, and we've been using the XML mapping pane. We want now to import the, the layout into NV2009, and we want to print, uh, print the report and see how it looks. So back in Word, what we'll do now is that we will save our changes, so I'll close down the document. So make, save it. And then what I want to do now is I want to import the, the changes that I've done over in uh, in Word, so I will select the import layout. Uh, I'm not using the edit layout, remember that, so now I'm just going to import what I have. Uh, and now I have uh, this laying here, the default docx, so let's click this and open. Uh, and now I have done my changes, and before we make this report the active one, we want to run the report and verify that this is actually the one that's, that actually is working, and the changes that we have done is working. So let's open this in, in PDF, and let's uh, See that we have the shipment date here. That's uh, working exactly the way we wanted it. So we made a uh, we added the field from the from the data set. If we want to go make this report the active one, we can say OK to this one, and then we can go to the uh, to the report to layout selection page. And in here we now have the custom layout already selected. But we have our old uh, layout uh, selected that we did before in a previous video. Now let's go and add uh, the my layout the advanced one and say OK to this. And now it's the advanced one that we'll be using. And if I say OK to this, and I go to my uh, posted documents, and I want to run this report, for example, here, and go print, and then I go print to the PDF, I will see that I now have my uh, my shipment date here. So this is the, the new report that I have uh, in my uh, system that's active. So to summarize, we first created a copy of an existing custom report layout to illustrate that we can have multiple layouts for each report. We then enable the grid lines in Word, so it's easier for us to understand the structure of the custom Word layout. We then enable the Developer tab, so we could see and use the XML mapping pane to add existing fields in the dataset to our report layout. We use the Insert, Content Control and Plain Text when adding fields to the layout from the XML mapping pane. And finally, we imported back the changes to NAV 2005 and printed the report. I hope you enjoyed this how -Y video. I'm Klaus Lundström, MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NV. Thanks for watching.